We're ha here at the DJI booth. We're crammed in like sardines because there's a lot of people here at NAB 2024. And we're talking about this guy right here, the DJI Action 2, a nice little camera for your action shots. Look at that. I can see everything. We're going to talk about that next on Geekazine. What's up, my geeks? Jeffrey Powers here from Geekazine. Think Magazine put in a geek and you got me. And we got here what is, what's called the DJI Action 2 camera. As you can see, we have a nice little lens here. It's a simple uh, simple lens that's powering off in three seconds. Let's. What this is is a 4K 120 frame per second camera that uh, has two screens to it. So you're seeing a screen down here. And when I go to flip it, you're seeing my screen. So if I do this, if I have a conversation with this guy right here, you'll see him and then you'll see me as I do this. It's totally magnetic too. You can definitely uh, clamp it on somewhere and use that magnet to uh, keep it on and then just take it off when you're ready. It's 10 meter waterproof camera. It's horizon steady. So if it starts doing this, it's, it's gonna try to make some adjustments and it does use AI inside of the camera so it can help with your shots. It's not gonna do anything like bounce left or return left or right. It might do it within certain software but just the idea that I could sit here and I could have a conversation with the camera and then turn it around and have a conversation with myself and then bring it back, that's always fun. And, and usually I would use a 360 camera to do that. That takes a lot of process, but with this, it makes it a lot easier to go back and forth between the cameras. This does detach, we just push on the sides and we can bring this up. There is magnet on there, so it'll snap right into place. You see the little tines, so you can't flip this camera around. It has to be one way and it'll clip right in. Same thing on this stand right here. You just lift this up and then you can magnetically come out and put it in and then snap it right in. So if I had a helmet cam, I could put it right there. And, uh, and of course, I might just use this one to do everything. Uh, and I can't see it through here because it has to be direct connect. $279 for this camera. It's so small and compact. It might be, it would definitely be something that I could actually put in this rig. Let's check out a couple other things at DJI. All right, check this out. This is the DJI Pocket 3. I have the Pocket 2, that's what we're recording on right now. But with the Pocket 3, the big thing is this little, the wider screen that can flip in a horizontal fashion or a vertical fashion. And when you do that, it will do a, an HD video. You can flip it this way and do all your TikToks, do all your Instagrams, your Reels, whatever, live stream vertically. This has got a one inch CMOS sensor. It's got a two inch uh, rotatable screen and it's got a three axis mechanical stabilization on this. Active Track 6.0 and a full pocket fast focus. So if I've got a product like this, I can move it up and it'll focus in on that and then back to me really, really fast. So stereo recording and it is pocket sized. So as you can see, it's, it's, it's pretty small and it's pretty cool. So I'd be able to do a lot of, uh, lot of action shots. And of course, I, what I really like on this is I can do time lapses, I can do hyper lapses, which means that I can walk around like NAB and uh, get all of NAB and you'd see like a really fast version of my walk around, but still get all of that from there. This has got the media add-on to it. There's a whole bunch of other add-ons that you can get for that. But that's the DJI Pocket 3 and that's available now. Let's go ahead and look at this, the DJI Mic 2. As you can see, two transmitters, one receiver. That main receiver receiver will give you all the information. It's got a nice display on there. It's got a lightning uh, plug-in. It's also got a USB plug-in, which is missing, but that's okay. Uh, so you can plug it into an iPhone. You can plug it into iPhone 15 with the USB connection. And then you bring this, oh, it's, it's actually attached right on here. So that's nice because you can set it on there flip it out and you don't have to put it back. You can just put it back that way and you're good to go. So as you can see, we got the uh, mobile display right there that'll tell us everything we need to do go. And then when we go 2.4 gigahertz wireless, uh, all in one ready to use type thing. It's 32 bit, 14 hours of internal recording. So if we're in a crazy saturated area like here and we lose the audio in the wireless, this records it so we can do it and fix it in post-processing. So it's also got 32-bit float internal. So if you have if you have to yell to the top of your lungs, you can fix the audio into post. 
It's got intelligent noise canceling, uh, 250 meter range in a ideal place. Something like this, you probably did, won't get 250 meters, but there's a lot of signal going back and forth. And an 18 hour battery. And of course the battery gets extended every time you put it in the case, because it the case also charges itself. So this is the DJI Mic 2, and it's available now. All right, up next here we have the Osmo Mobile 6. Of course, it's a three-axis gimbal. Quick launch, portable, uh, foldable, active track inside, built-in extension rod, and, and of course you get this right here. And it's easy, uh, you can set up easy tutorials. As you can see, I'm actually going to do this and hit the uh, record. I'm just using the regular app. If you want to go from horizontal to vertical, it's as simple as that. So I can see me as I'm going, and I'm going to move this around as I talk. Simply, I'm moving it like this, and you're seeing like that. So pretty cool stuff. And with, so it's great to go to an event like this. It's got the joystick there, so if I need to move up and down, I can easily do it. But I can also do that and get it in position a lot quicker and a lot easier. Several different buttons that uh, you can configure and, and use to start and stop videos and, and turn on and off. Once again, this is the Osmo Mobile 6 with Active Track if you're using the Osmo app. All right, check this out. This is the DJI Power 1000. If you got drones, we got drones all over this place right now, but if you need to power, get those batteries charged, ready to uh, shoot that next hour of video footage or just playing around with the hay, this is the guy right here. 2200 watt max output power. It fully charges in about 70 minutes. We got AC, basically you have to press that to turn the AC power on, and then you can plug in your power to you turn that off. As you can see, that can save on your watts by doing that. You got two USB, two USB-C, uh, fast charging, so you can charge your phones, you can charge your remotes or whatnot. In here, plug that goes into your wall. You can do a 1200 watts or 600 watt charging right here. Um, and then of course, we got regular standard Anderson plugs right there. So if you need to bring it in. So that means that if you have like a solar panel, you could probably plug those in uh, through the Anderson plugs. And I don't see a, I don't see a car charger in here, is there a car charger in here? No, there is not. You probably gotta get an inverter if you need to charge it from your car. But a lot of electric vehicles nowadays, they have that ability to do so. So it is a little bit heavy, but you know, I'd expect that because there's batteries in here. Uh, but when you're on an all day shoot and you're trying to get the footage that you need, you can keep your batteries charging up as you're changing them out from your copter or whatever you're doing. You can use it for cameras. Heck, you can uh, plug in a portable refrigerator, you can plug in, you know, your CPAP machine if you're doing an overnight stay, and uh, that way you get constant power, power up your phones, power up your iPad. So that's the DJI Power 1000. Woo, and that's a lot from DJI. You can check everything out. And of course, I didn't uh, talk about the Inspire 3 or any of the uh, drones there. You can check that out. They got a lot of stuff over here. We can uh, go over here and we can check out how they have it rigged to a car, and how you can do some remote production with uh, different devices, different ways, and a whole lot more. And then of course, uh, I think they have a, dr yeah, they have the flight drone flight area over there that's not running right now. But as you can see, if you need anything for mobile production, remote production, for drone production, that's where DJI comes in. And, and what's really cool is I'm gonna, squeeze through here. They are showing off the products through the standard NAB style, and that's through, there's, there's the product, and they have this, this little makeshift subway car where you can, uh, you can take and you can play with the products and, uh, and see how they work for you in whatever you need. Just like I'm doing here with the DJI Pocket 2. So lots of cool stuff at the DJI booth NAB 2024 over at geekazine.com, youtube.com forward slash geekazine. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, hit the bell notification so you, you know that YouTubers get their wings when you do that. Yeah. So uh, check everything out over at Geekazine. Thanks a lot for watching. Till next time, you guys geek out and create on.